Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Optimize your content showcase. We will walk you through the process of editing category pages. Tailor them to highlight your posts in a way that resonates with your audience and keeps them engaged. So guys, without no further talking, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, if you do have websites such as blogs or like health or for example store, you really have to work on your categories. Because if you do not have categories in your website, if you do not have everything listed in its own category, well that will make it so much harder and difficult for the audience or your client to go through your website. For example, we have like a website that sells technology uh, stuff, so tech stuff, and a client comes to your website willing to buy from you. So 100% he's coming to your site and he's willing to buy from you. Well, he's looking for a specific thing, but he couldn't really manage to find the categories list in your website to actually find that thing within this category. Let's say you have everything randomized in your site. Well, this person is looking for, uh, let's say, like a uh, GPU. Well, it can't be found like that randomly. It has to spend hours and hours to find that GPU specifically if you have thousands of products sold being sold on your site. So to fix that, we have to work on categories. Well, categories are basically here on posts where you hover on it. You can find them right there. So here we have categories. And there is a lot of work to do with categories that we are going to explain in this video. So first thing is to delete everything. And the only thing that will be still there is the uncategorized uh, type. So the anti-categorized type is going to be permanent here. We can't really remove it since every product or everything that we will create by default is going to be uncategorized until we add a new category to it. So let's start by adding some categories to our site, shall we? So let's say, as I said, that we are going to sell tech stuff on our site. Um, we need a lot of categories to start with. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to actually get ideas from other websites. So thing is to go to AliExpress as an example, go to Amazon and just like that you are going to go and check their categories. So here let's go for example and these are the categories that they have. There is computer office and education, there is phone and telecommunication, there is security and protection, there is also here for example Let's go and click on this and as you can see there is more than only a few categories. There is a lot of things to actually learn from this site. So let's say that we have clicked on computer office and education. Inside of it we will literally find a lot of subcategories like drawing tablets, uh, sharpener, laptop lock, laptop batteries, network hubs, stapler. So we have all of that stuff that can be actually very helpful. Let's go for something that is really tech. So for, for example, phone and telecommunication. And here, as you can see, there is iPhone, mobile phone batteries, mobile phone cables, mobile phone housing and frames, phone repair tools. So each category has its own subcategories. So we will have to work on that as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to copy this uh, category and add it right here. So here what I'm going to do is to actually add it just like so and add the new category as you can see right here. And now for the subcategories, how we're going to manage to do them? Well, basically, um, let me just close that and I'm going to start copying the name of each one of these things. So for example here I'm going to write iPhone. So let's do that. As you can see here I have written iPhone and here basically it's gonna be by its own category if we keep it like that. What we should do is to add it to our already made category which is gonna be normally phones and telecommunication as we did here. So just add it right there a new category and this is basically gonna be a subcategory of phones and tele telecommunication. 
I'm going to keep doing that. So for example, my phone batteries. So batteries. So here the same thing. Keep adding it. Uh, like let's go used phones. Here we go. And we can add it to the same subcategory. And just like that, we have made a lot of category and subcategories that's gonna be very, very helpful when we are trying to create a new product or a new post. So now we're going to create a new post. Let me just remove all of these already made posts, remove to trash, move to trash. I mean, let's remove them all, delete permanently, apply. And here we go. So now what I'm going to do is to add a new post. When we're trying to create a new post, we should finally focus, firstly fo focus on something, which is basically categories. So here, as you can see already, when we clicked on categories, there is this phone and there is these ones are pushed in because they are subcategories of this main category. So we're going to try to connect to iPhone. It's actually going to be phones and telecommunication iPhone. So here, for example, let's go ahead and let's copy like a product from iPhone. Here we go. I'm going, for example, to add this product here. Here we go. Let's copy everything from this page. And let's simply just paste it here. If we can do that, it's going to be laggy a little bit. I think it can do the work. Here, yeah, it did copy somehow. And now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add it to iPhone. Click on publish. And let's publish it. And now let's just wait a little bit until it is published. It can take some time because we have a lot of images, a lot of code going on there because I didn't just copy stuff normally how they should be copied. But here it goes. This is how the page looks. Um, and here, as you can see, the categories is iPhone. And basically, guys, if you really try to know which category is iPhone in, you will be able to see that. So once you, for example, let's say that we have searched for phones and telecommunications uh, as categories, we will find every single post from iPhones, batteries, and used phones, and a specific page of phones and telecommunication. So everything from these posts are going to be there, updated for us. So this is just an idea how you can use categories on your WordPress website. And of course, you can add the slug. And the slug is basically here, as you can see. Uh, so normally here, as you can see, it has been shown here, phone telecommunication slash iPhone. So it's already been set in the URL itself. But the slug is basically the URL from the version of the name. So instead of showing in the um, URL here, uh, phone communication iPhone, I just want to say, for example, mobile. So this is something uh, what this like means basically and yeah guys these are all the informations that you will need normally for you to execute the perfect categories for your site thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial